Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to implement animated background gradients in Oxygen. It's a really cool effect if used properly. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to set this up in Oxygen. Let's jump over here to the editor. Now we're gonna set up that example that we saw. So we need to start with a section. And because we're gonna apply some custom CSS to this section in order to get that animated background gradient effect, let's go ahead and add a class to the section. So let's call this animated gradient. That'll be really easy to remember later and we'll be able to go ahead and apply those styles to it when we're ready. Now we need a little content div that sits over top of this section. So let's click add and let's drop a div in there and we're gonna apply some styles to this. So first let's go to advanced size and spacing and let's set the width to 100% and let's set the max width to 768 pixels. That'll keep it somewhat narrow on larger screens but allow it to scale properly for smaller screens. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and add 32 pixels of padding on the inside of that container. And let's jump back out here to the advanced tab. Let's go to background. We're gonna set the background color to white. And then back into advanced and we're gonna to go to borders and we're just gonna round off these corners a bit. Now, one thing I like to do is to use realistic box shadows for some of my elements. And the best way I've found to get these realistic box shadows is a website called brum.af slash shadows. This is a CSS generator that generates layered box shadows that give you this really nice, more natural looking box shadow effect. And we're gonna use this on our content div. So let's just copy this off. And we're gonna jump back over here and we have our div selected, so let's go to Advanced, Custom CSS, and let's just drop that CSS in. And you can see we now have that nice, natural, soft box shadow. This can really elevate the look of your designs versus using uh, more harsh, more basic box shadow in some cases. Fantastic, so now we need a little heading here, so let's add a heading, and we'll just say, this is a gradient background that's animated. Wonderful. And let's just style this up a bit. Advanced typography, line height 1.2, and then advanced size and spacing. And let's add 32 pixels of margin there to give our actual content some room to breathe. Now let's add a text element. And we just want enough content in here to kind of illustrate how this whole thing is gonna look. So we're gonna jump over to lipsum.com and I've already generated five paragraphs here. So let's just copy that, go over here and just paste it into our text element. Wonderful. Now let's select our section here and let's just center everything. And then we'll of course need to make sure our text elements are not centered. So we can either, if we don't ever want anything in this content div to be centered within the div, we can do that here. We can select the div and then just set everything to the left, but we might want something to be centered later. So I'm gonna actually do that on each element in the typography setting. So we'll go to the heading and go to typography and make sure the text align is left. And we'll do the same on the text element. Cool, so now we have basically our structures set up. Now we just need to get to the actual thing this video is about, and we need to apply a CSS gradient to the background section that's animated. So I have a CSS generator for that as well. I love CSS generators, if you haven't noticed, because they make our job really easy when it comes to designing more advanced things with CSS. So this is gradient-animator.com, and it allows you to pick a number of colors, set your gradient angle, your scroll angle, and your speed to get whatever kind of effect you're looking for. So let's just add a couple of colors here. Let's do some pretty bright, happy colors. Do kind of a peach color there, and then let's go more towards the orange and red, and then let's go down for a nice teal there. Okay, and then I want it to be maybe a little bit faster, so let's drag this up. 
And then let's change the angle a bit and let's preview that. All right, so that gives us a nice smooth animated background. All right, so now we just need to copy and paste this CSS. But because we're using actual CSS selectors in here, we cannot add it to the custom CSS field of an individual element. We need to do it in a style sheet. So we're gonna go over to Oxygen and we're gonna to go to Manage Style Sheets and we're going to add a new one and we'll just call it Styles. And we need to paste in that CSS we just grabbed. Now we need to change this CSS selector class to the class that we applied to our div which I believe was animated-gradient. And you can see it's now applied to our section. So let's save that. Let's close out this example and let's open this on the front end to see what it looks like. Very good. Now there's one issue I noticed with this is that you get this kind of, uh, these flashes of white along the top and bottom when you're scrolling. And one way to fix that would be to go in here and set your background attachment to fixed. What that's going to do is make this background remain fixed as you scroll, which should eliminate those kind of flashes of white along the top and bottom. And again, that's probably browser and OS specific. I'd imagine that doesn't happen across the board, but now it looks nice and smooth. Now, one thing is that you may not want to apply this just to the whole background of a page, though that's one way you could use it. Sometimes these types of effects are more effective when used in more subtle ways. So let's look at another way to use this. Now that we have everything set up, we can go in here and let's say we want a button with an animated background. Let's select our content div and let's go ahead and add a link wrapper. We're gonna make this a somewhat fancy button with some rather custom styles. So let's drop that in. And let's go ahead and add some text here. And we're just gonna say, click here to buy. And we'll just pretend this is kind of a call to action. All right, so now let's select our link wrapper again. And let's style it up a bit. Let's go to advanced size and spacing and set top and bottom padding to eight, left and right to 32 pixels. Then let's go to advanced typography. We're gonna make our text disappear here in a minute by turning it white, but let's start with our letter spacing and set it all to uppercase. And let's set the font size to something a little smaller. And then font weight, let's bump that up to 600. Okay, now let's make our text disappear, turn it white. And then we're gonna to go to the selector dropdown up here. And we're just gonna start typing animated gradient. And of course we get the suggestion of animated dash gradient and we're gonna drop that in. And like that, we have an animated gradient background on our button. But let's go back over here to advanced borders and let's add some border radius to that as well. Not eight pixels, let's do four. And that's gonna make this kind of mesh with all of our uh, styling that we have up to this point. Now note, one thing I did there, and this is a pretty common mistake, uh, even I do it on occasion, is I added a class and then I went ahead and made changes to styles, which will change those styles on every element that has that class. In this case, I just added four pixels of border radius to our section, which we don't want. So let's get rid of that. And let's jump back over here to the ID. And that's where we're gonna wanna add this border radius, because we don't want every element that has an animated gradient background to have the border radius necessarily. All right, and then let's go to advanced size and spacing and add 32 pixels of margin on the top. And then we're gonna select our content div and just center everything. Now let's save and look on the front end. And we've got a couple of elements there, the section with a nice animated gradient background. And then we also have our button here, both of which are kind of fading smoothly between the two ends of the gradient and giving us a nice gentle transition effect. Now that we have that animated gradient class set up, I would consider that a sort of utility class that you can use to just drop that class on whatever you want to have an animated gradient background and it's done for you. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and that's how to use animated gradient backgrounds in Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.